Today we are going to talk about three types of prayers God will never answer. Three types of prayers God will not answer. Because if we understand this very well, we will know the, the, the reason behind our frustration of, of hindered prayers. That prayer we pray without answer, without getting results. As I said, that everybody likes to pray. But because lack of results makes many people not to pray. They said the one they prayed, they did not get a result. Now, if they pray this one now, uh, uh, there is no difference now, it's the same thing. Automatically, they are weak in their faith. Three prayers God will not answer. Help me to touch the subscribe button or click the follow button, depending on the platform you are watching me right now. And uh, also, share this message to many people. Forward it to as, much, as many contacts as you can. Remember, we are joining hands together to save lives. As a child of God, God is expecting you to make sure that someone else hear this message. Prayer, three prayers, God will never answer. Number one, I know that God will answer all prayers, but pay attention on this teaching. Number one prayer God will never answer is what God did not promise. He will never answer it. Anything God did not promise, he will never answer it. God is a God of, if I may call it, he's a God of principle. He's a God of rules and regulation. He's a God of law. He's a God that, that, that said what he's, he wants and do what he said. He said what he like and do what he said. So anything God did not say, he will never answer it. So if there is a prayer, if there is something you are praying, the word of God did not cover. The word of God did not point out to. God will never answer it. It may be the reason why you are experiencing frustration in your life. It may be the reason you are experiencing a lack of answer or hindered prayer in your life because you are busy praying and asking what God did not promise, what the word of God did not promise. That is why I advise everyone watching this video, I am advising you as you are watching this video now to pay more attention to your Bible because if you don't know the word of God, definitely you will pray amiss. You will pray something that God did not promise and at the end God will not answer it. Because every man of faith in the Bible and even our, our present days, every man of faith, faith you may see anywhere, there are people that know the word of God. So when we pray according to his word, he heareth us. And the Bible says, why do we pray and refuse to get answer? It's because we, have, we ask and miss. And in the book of John, the Bible began to tell us, he said, this is the confidence. This is our confidence that he heareth us, that when we pray according to his will, and what is the will of God? It is the word of God is the will of God. Because in the word of God, you will find out the will of God. So if you don't know scripture, if you don't know Bible, there is no time you can be able to pray aright. And when you pray, when you miss, when you pray and miss, definitely, your prayer has been hindered even before you pray it. That is number one prayer God will never answer. Number two prayer God will never answer is what God expects you to do, your own area of responsibility. You know, there are some people that they, they are believing God, being that God is powerful, God is almighty, God is glorious, God is powerful, and uh, God can do all things. But they now shifted their own responsibility side to God. They want God to, to do what they themselves are supposed to do. So whenever you allow God to do what he said that you are the one to do it, God will never answer that prayer. For instance, God promised fruit of womb. God make us to understand that we, we, we will multiply in the land, that we will increase, that we will have many children. Imagine a man that just married. Maybe the man is a prophet and he married an evangelist. And these two of them joined together being husband and wife. 
and they, they are always seeing vision, prophesying, hearing the voice of God, going to mountain, praying and delivering people. But they never have time to stay together as husband and wife. I want you to know that 50 years to come in that their marriage, they will have no child there. Because their responsibility in order to activate what God is saying in the area of fruitfulness is that the two of them have to stay together as husband and wife. They have to meet as husband and wife before that they will have children in that their marriage. So it is their responsibility to fulfill that side of the, of the bed. God will not come and fulfill it for them. God will not come down and pregnant the wife. God will not come down and pregnant the woman. So that is when well, I use this as an example. So there are many areas in our life we shifted the whole responsibility of God. We shifted the whole responsibility to God. We want God to do this. We want God to do this for us. But most of the things we want God to do, we are the one that the word of God say we are the one to do it. So anytime you want God to do, to answer the prayer based on the area of your responsibility, you shifted to God to fulfill it. God will never answer that prayer. Find out that area you are shifting to God. That your responsibility, you are shifting to God. God will never answer that prayer. Number three prayer, God will never answer. Number three prayer, God will never answer. As I said, number one is, number one is praying what God did not promise. Number two is shifting your responsibility to God. Is praying what God has already done. Expecting God to do what he has done. He will never answer it. Expecting God to do what he has already done, he will never answer it again. For instance, the, the, many people are saying, oh, God is powerful. God can make me born again. God can save my soul. Which I know that God is powerful. But God has already done it. He has already done uh, something concerning the area of our salvation. And the Bible said that whosoever that will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So now, when somebody is expecting God to save him from his sin and, the, and God to deliver him and the individual never accept Jesus in his life, how will God save him? Because God has already provided remedy for that area. God has already provided solution for that area and that solution is only in Christ Jesus. So anybody that needs salvation, anybody that wants to be free from Satan, anybody that wants to be free from the hands of the wicked, anybody that wants to make heaven, anybody that wants to be saved, have to go and surrender his life to Jesus. So when someone says he don't need Jesus, he wants God to deliver him, he is praying that the Lord will save him. He's discovered that God has done that one. God will never answer that prayer. I discovered that God is so lovely. He so cherishes us that he don't want us to live a frustrated life. He don't want us to experience frustration in our life. He don't want us to experience uh, uh, hurt in our life. And that is why he decided to make sure that his word covered all the areas of our needs. God makes sure that his word covered every area of man's need. Every area of man's need. So find out whether you are praying amiss you are praying amiss number two find out whether what you are asking god whether you are the one that's supposed to do what you are asking god to do for you and number three find out whether you are asking god to do what he has done what he has already done he will never answer it so these are the three prayers god will never answer and anytime you are praying and making this mistake you will think that you don't have faith but I know that you have faith, but you are praying and miss. Forward this video to many people. Share this message to many people you love. God is expecting you as a child of God to forward this message. Join hands together with me. Let us save life. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel or follow my Facebook page, I encourage you to do so, so that you'll be receiving all my updates. And remember, you have to drop your, you can drop your suggestion comment like and drop your suggestion and the good lord will bless you may the peace of god and the god of peace be with you see you next time and bye